What's going on, family? Welcome back to another video. This is the way of life. In today's topic, we'll be talking about the servant. Be the servant. Jesus came down from heaven um, not to be served, but to serve. He came down to help the people who are lost, people that like, such as myself or other people, the ones you see that are homeless or the ones that you see that strung out or the ones that you see that struggle with many things. Yes, Jesus came to rescue those people because he knew that they could not get themselves out of bondage, but he knew that he could get them out of bondage because he came from our Heavenly Father, the one that we pray to, the one that we lift up, the one that we exalt because he is worthy to be praised, even when life don't make sense. So being a servant is not saying being a do boy or doing whatever everybody wants you to do or being a doormat, let people walk over you. No, 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 no. It's an honor to be a servant because when you serve God's people, right, God is pleased with you. See, physically, people look at you and are saying, oh, they just, you know, a do boy or they just listen to what everybody tells them to do. But at the end of the day, listen to me good, that when Jesus came from heaven, he literally became a servant. He humbled himself. I got words to collaborate on it. But he humbled himself, meaning he didn't ask God to humble him. He humbled himself. This is the savior of the world who humbled himself, not ask God to humble him. So when you ask God, Humble me, Lord. No, 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 no. You humble yourself. Humble yourself. Get into whatever position you need to get into to humble yourself. Now, let's dive in today. The scriptures that I have, no points, but scriptures that I have. Because I pray that this video bless you. That with these four scriptures that I have are very meaty. So we're not doing no milk and, 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 and honey. We're, we're, we're doing some meat that's just going to sustain you to understand that, hey, look, when you answer the call, understand you are not to be served, but to serve God's people. Let's dive into it. So the first one is Mark chapter 10, verse 31. But many who are first will be last and the last first. Philippians chapter two, verses five through eight, but this is seven and eight, but he made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant, coming in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death at, of the cross. That's the. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, and it reads, not to be served, right? But to serve and to give his life as ransom for many. That's deep. John chapter 13, verse 16 through 17, speaking of Jesus of watching his disciples' feet, and it reads, most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who was sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. So, as we just read, and it's very meaty, that we understand that Jesus literally, right, in the flesh, appeared as man and did the things that he was called to do, to serve to love, to save, to die on a cross for many, because even the people that didn't, that don't believe in him to this day, he still died for them because he's like, just in case, just in case, if some people decide to change, some people decide to turn around, I die for them too. So listen, I'm not knocking what you're doing right now. I'm not knocking anybody that does the things that they do, but understand this. When you do say yes to Jesus, 
you are now an ambassador for Christ. You are now a servant for Christ. You are called to be a server, right? Not to sit here and have people serve you. Now, listen, I do understand that some people have to have uh, assistance, right? Because your schedule or things are so clouded up for you that you need someone to help you administrate the different things, the activities or different things to help you. So there's nothing wrong with that. So let's not get that twisted. But what I am saying is, is that when you are called, you are not to say, oh, I want them to serve me or whatever. No, go serve God's people. As we read in John chapter 13, verses 16 to 17, Jesus got on his knee. He bowed down on one knee and washed his disciples' feet. Now, at this time, you know, they're walking and they got sandals, so you know they feet a little, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is about it is that he was willing to do what we wouldn't do, wash people's feet, you know, even if they are dirty. No matter where they came from or where they walked through, I'm willing to wash your feet, which is symbolic of saying, hey, look, I'm willing to serve you. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to serve you. I might got to get a little dirty, but the simple fact is I'm willing to serve you. And when I serve you, I serve God's people. See, many people want to be served, but don't want to be the server because they feel like if they're if they're serving then they're less than what the person is. But actually, in reality, matter of fact, not even in reality, spiritually, we're all equal. OK, you may see this person in this high um, place or you might see this person in this low place. But understand this, when his life is done, when his life is over, you will you will all be equal. But you should really already know that you're equal now in the earth. Listen, being a child of God, it's a privilege. It's an honor. Jesus died so you and I can be able to come to the Father and, and pretty much pray to him and have a relationship with him. And this is how you know it's God that you're praying to because God's going to say, do you do this and do that? It's how you go about this. I know how who I'm praying to, which is God, is he would tell me, hey, look, I know you don't like what they're doing. I know you can't stand the sin that they do. But at the end of the day, remember where you came from. Remember where I brought you through. Not to bring you down or whatever, to have you reflect back on your past when you do reflect on your past is to let you know, hey, look where I brought you from. So if you see someone struggling with this, don't judge them. Help them. See where you can meet them at. See why uh, they do what they do. See where the root is. See, we are God's workers. And the people are God's field, right? And that's why it says the harvest is plenty but the workers are few. You got a lot of harvest, which is the people who need help, who need to be served, who need to be um, poured into, grow, and all these different things. Might have to do a little bit of cutting, right? But at the end of the day, the field is God's people. We are the workers. And this work is not easy. You want to have some, some things are going to fight with you. Some things are going to be a little easier. And some things are going to be a little bit easier to grow. Some of it's going to be hard because the ground is still hard. And so you got to do a little bit more water. So then that way that ground can grow. So understand, if you like me and you like to grow, if you like me and you like to work, I'm telling you, it's not easy, but it's a great reward behind it. I pray that this video bless you in Jesus name.